Yes, my people, good day. Customer states in my Nissan Murano. My AC does not work. So, checking it out. First thing I do is switch the vehicle on, turn on the AC, see what happen. All right, right, AC. Boom, AC on. Feeling. They have a song for this. It goes, feeling at, at, at. This AC not blowing cold. Let's go out under the hood, check what's going on. First thing I do is hook up the gauges. And when I hook up the gauges, see the high side, almost 150 PSI. This is with the vehicle off. Low side is matching, almost matching, right? So you see? So what that says to me is this system is not empty. This system is, I don't know if it's fully charged, but it is charged enough where it should be turning on the AC compressor. I don't hear it clicking, so something else is going on. Pressure said that it should be working, so now I'm going to the electrical side of stuff. And you know, see, I like my wiring diagrams. Let me grab a wiring diagram and see what's going on. Hmm? Here we have our wiring diagrams. Here's the compressor right here, and you look, it has two wires going to it. It has one of them coming out and going up to the intelligent power Power distribution module you see in here the AC relay ignition relay all that stuff is incorporated into this one component right here which I don't like but they like it but if this goes bad I don't think this is serviceable correct me if I'm wrong but it's all in this let's go to the compressor and see what we have on these two wires and they will know to go from there Sometimes you have to do the stupid stuff first. Some of the stupid stuff is looking, finding the compressor, making sure that the belt is on, that's for sure. And then two, making sure that it's plugged in. There's a plug all the way back there. And I'm looking at it and it's plugged in. There's a white wire and a black wire. And if you remember on the wiring diagram, it was a white wire bringing the power and the black wire is for ground. So it's physically plugged in and we see our red. It changes to a red and a black going into the AC compressor. So now I'm going to start the vehicle, turn the AC on, and then I'm going to check what's coming down those two wires. You understand? Remember, one of them is ground all the while, and then the power side gets switched, turn the power on so that the compressor comes on. All right, it's running. This is dangerous right here. You're putting your fingers in close proximity or moving parts, so be very aware of the belt and the pulley. Don't lose any digit. Let's check for power now. Power probe, testing. We have power. There's 12 volts coming there. Check the other side. So we have ground. And with the compressor plugged in, it's not working. Let's check how good that ground is. This is a handy dandy tester right here. See it? This end, there's 12 volts on, there's 12 volts on this end right here. Connected to the battery. And then this end, I'm going to touch it onto the ground. This bulb pulls five amps. And if it can light bright, then that ground circuit is good. So, let's see how good this ground circuit is. Really good. So that ground is good. So, there's 12 volts coming down on the wire. That should be 12 volts. And the ground circuit is good. This clutch right here is bad. The coil in the clutch is bad. Another way you can check if the coil in the clutch is bad is if... You see these two pins, it should read some form of resistance. I don't know what the spec is, but one thing for sure, it should not read open. This is our volt ohm meter right here. Touch it together. See, we get almost no resistance, continuity, because we touch it together. So now I'm going to go across the two pins in here. Might be a little bit difficult to see. Takes a little bit of, you can do it. I'm touching on the other pin now. I'm across both pins now. So I read in no difference. It says open lead, overload, or whatever the OL stand for. But it means say a salt. It's not connect. The coil inside the clutch is bad. Need a compressor or if them sell the clutch by itself, you can replace the clutch. But where I'm at, you replace the entire AC compressor, not just the clutch. So that's what the problem is with this. The voltage is coming down. The ground side is good. The power side is good, but it's still not coming on. It's charged. Yeah, so you need a new compressor clutch slash compressor. Yeah, yeah man. Another diagnosis with the Rastaman bills. You understand? Yeah man. Make sure you have a nice day. Enjoy your evening. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't work too hard. Next week coming up, have a blessed week. You see me? Yeah man. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bless. Yeah.